Hello everyone, this is Lockio S, and welcome to DCS World. In this video, we're going to be covering a weapon that hasn't actually really been covered by any of the YouTubers who had early access to the F4E Phantom, and that is the AGM-12 Bullpup. Currently in-game, only the A and B models of Bullpup are working. It looks like the AGM-12C has been uh, bugged on uh, release, where you can equip two of the AGM-12Cs but neither of them uh, will arm uh, once you're in the cockpit. So it'll look like uh, the weapons are dead. Uh, they're just a dead weight hanging on the pylons because they won't arm. So not quite sure if that's a bug or if there's something that was missing in the manual, but currently the AGM-12Cs don't work, but the AGM-12As and Bs do. Now of note about the 12s, uh, the 12C is the 1,000 pound warhead uh, variant that has a extended range and it can only be mounted on the inner board pylons and if you do mount it on the inboard pylons uh, I won't be able to use the special weapons adapter to equip sidewinder so be aware of that but unfortunately even if you use the A and B model uh, it won't also be able to equip the special weapons adapter on the um, inboard pylon so even though you can carry up to four bull pups uh, you still won't, and even though that these bullpups are only a 500 pound warhead, so the equivalent of a Mark 82 with a, a 500 pound bomb, one, uh, 250 pounds worth of um, explosive, alas, even though it's lightweight, no inboard um, sidewinders for you with this, with these weapons. So do keep that in mind. If you want to have a, if you want to have uh, sidewinders for self defense and carry bullpups, you are limited to the A's and B's on the outboard pylons 1 and 8. But, never fear, you at least can carry your spares in the middle. Now, onto the employment of the uh, AGM-12. Uh, you will fire the, uh, the, when you fire the missile, you will, radio, you will use uh, the hand controls, and I will showcase that once we're in the cockpit, and uh, use the weapon hand control to guide the missile onto the target the uh, radio command. So think of it like an RC aircraft and you want to guide the uh, missile onto the target. Now, if you're wondering how you will see the missile, at the back of the AGM-12, you have the rocket motor in the middle and on either side of the rocket motor you have these two um, red cylinders and those are flares that will light up and produce smoke and you will actually see um, this uh, giant flare out in the distance. Now that does limit the range somewhat. You're not gonna be able to see it for like super, you're not gonna be able to see the missile um, super far out, but you will still be able to see the missile um, quite a long right way out and you'll be able to deliver um, uh, the weapon relatively close to the target from a decent bit out. Now keep in mind, because you're gonna to have to manually guide the missile in and it's very much like trying to control a radio controlled airplane from the ground, instead of, but instead of on the ground, you're controlling it from a moving airplane, and you're trying to line it up to specifically line uh, the flare onto the target. It is kind of a difficult weapon to use. You will get a lot of near misses. Uh, it's really hard to score a direct hit with this missile, but your real goal with this weapon is to get it as close to the target as possible to actually deal damage. Now, you can all, which is why you can use this uh, ideally against uh, clusters of ground vehicle units, or you can use it against single large targets like ships or buildings. Now we're gonna be using it against a relatively small ship, so this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I might whiff, but I will generally get the missile pretty close to the uh, ship, so hopefully I get at least a hit or two to demonstrate the uh, how to use the weapon. Now, once we're in the cockpit, the controls you want to use, let's get down here below, are up uh, to set the weapon. You want to use set the uh, weapon delivery mode to direct, and then the AGM-12 has its own uh, weapon selection right here, one on the left on the at the uh, nine o'clock position. So we're gonna set those two things up, and then once we'll select one of the pylons that has the AGM-12, and then we'll hit master arm on, to arm the missile. So we'll do that, we'll 
do everything but the master arm. Once we unpause, so direct, AGM 12, and we'll do the left inboard. Now let's go up to the uh, main panel here. You wanna set the uh, site to air to ground. And I like to keep the reticle at zero degrees depression, just because how I aim the missile, and it's really, you really don't aim the missile per se, in so much as you use the uh, uh, the uh, bore site zero depression um, air to ground site to, as a reference point. So you wanna put the uh, pipper up above the target, and then you want to then go to master arm, engage, and then with the master arm engaged, you want to hold the pickle button. You have to hold the pickle button for a couple of seconds, and then the uh, missile will fire off. Now, the controls you want to memorize or set up are these weapon slew controls, up, down, left, and right. What that's going to do is actually move the fins on the missile up, down, left, and right, and you'll actually steer the missile onto the target. So here we go. And steer it onto the target and Term point is updated. And it fell into the ocean right above the ship. And that was a kind of a far off shot for the AGM-12. And as such, gain power, get into a climb, and we're gonna shoot the next one off a little bit closer. Switch from, if you if you do a missile on the left, switch to the missile on the right to keep the plane balanced. And we're gonna actually decrease our sight reticle a little bit more to give ourselves a little bit of a better uh, shot at uh, aiming it, hitting and aiming. You really said don't only necessarily. It's hard to use the reticle to aim at the uh, target because that you don't really shoot the um, missile directly at the target per se. You kind of the whole point of the uh, radio control system is to uh, visually guide the missile onto the target. But here we are up at seven thousand feet, and we're going to begin our attack run on the ship again. Now, if it is possible, you want to line up your attack run on your target to be parallel to the target. So that way you don't have to steer the missile to the left or the right. All you have to focus then on is steering the missile up and down. All right, there we go. There's the ship out in the distance. Get power on. Trim her out. Definitely want to trim your aircraft out at least um, somewhat, or at least try to get it trimmed out relatively easy so you can uh, fly it. Okay, we're relatively close to the target. Rifle. There goes the missile. Begin control of that. Keep it on the target. Keep the flare on the target. There we go. We got a hit. All right. Now. Once you pretty much either you uh, are ninety nine percent sure you got a hit, are going to get a hit, or you confirm the hit, you want to immediately peel off the target. You don't want to over. You don't necessarily want to really want to overfly the target like I did. I'm just doing that because this is a training mission, and not only that, I know the target is unarmed. If you know the target area is armed, you definitely don't want to uh, overfly it, or else you'll defeat the purpose of uh, having the missile and shooting it off from a distance. All right, now we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're going to do a high angle aspect attack on this ship. Rolling over. Then cut the power. You wanna be not like, you don't wanna be super fast in the dive mainly because uh, you don't want to outrun the missile or you want to uh, you basically you want to keep the missile as far out in front of you as you can in fact we're going to extend air brakes quickly get the mess quickly get to some bore site with the aircraft and then 
Rifle. There we go. Can't control the missile as soon as we can. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Oh, we didn't pitch up quite hard enough at the end. All right. And I will say ships are a good way to practice against, um, a good target to practice against, because in one way, in some ways they are a big target, but in other ways they are not. They are very, they tend, obviously ships tend to be very long, but not necessarily very wide. So you do have a decent surface, amount of surface area to hit, to get a direct hit, but it's not like getting, it's not like uh, it's a very wide target, so you only have air in like one direction. Also, do keep in mind that uh, with DCS and ships, unless it's a civilian ship, AGM-12s, um, AGM because of their relatively small warhead size, um, comparatively speaking, don't really do much damage to them. And even this uh, civilian uh, transport ship that we're currently uh, using as a bit of target practice, uh, we're just going to call say that it's, uh, we know it's actually uh, commandeered uh, by enemy forces and we're trying to sink it is taking that I took that one aim uh, that one AGM 12 shot pretty nicely okay we're relatively close and fire okay again get down get down try to get to keep it on there keep it on there there we go hit and let's do some BDA real quick well, we did almost kill the ship. It has a little bit of health left, but... Alas, two AGM-12 hits. Uh, if that was a real-life ship, it probably would not be in great shape right now. They'd be probably uh, abandoning the ship. But alas, it is not. So, off-screen, I'll probably do some gun res against it. Uh, get some more um, experience using the uh, ground-to-air-to-gun mode. And... That will be it for today's tutorial on the uh, AGM-12. Again, uh, setup, you want to use direct, AGM-12, select the pylon that has the, uh, one of the pylons that has the AGM-12, air to ground mode, to, uh, depress the reticle to your liking. I usually, like I said, I usually found um, 35 to be a good uh, depression if you want to use the reticle depression to aim it. But for the most part, your aiming is going to come from steering the weapon using the hand control that I pointed out earlier in the video, using the weapon control or slash hand control for the front pilot seat. And then once you're ready to engage, master arm on. And then bomb, uh, bomb uh, pickle button. Hold it for a second or two and it'll then shoot off. So with all that said, this is Lock OS. Uh, put some targets out in the mission editor um, in a nice group and just keep on firing AGM 12s at it. You can, I would even say if you want to put on unlimited fuel and ammo and just keep on flinging them out there, um, learning how to steer them. It's an art, but it's a very rewarding one. So until next time, this is Lock OS signing out from the F4E Phantom.